The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. We have the German DAX, as you can see, still going down. Uh, we should have made a bottom here in our stock market, is my guess. We had some really interesting things happening there yesterday. Uh, those of you that uh, you know follow some of these smaller patterns uh, that we look at, we we made a very very interesting bottom in the uh, in the uh, s and p if you'll just give me a second here i'll get it up here so you can take a look at it yesterday and then you can see what we're looking at for today uh, we thought we'd get up here to this uh, 2880 to 2900 somewhere in that ballpark uh, we got to i think pretty close to 80 but that's pretty much it this should be a bottom in here folks uh, the market is not reacting uh, to the interest rate stuff because we had some really big swings in interest rates this morning, um, you know. So that that's a big thing going on. But I've got to, I I have you know, folks. When I've been doing this for an awful long time, and one of the reasons why I I do the teaching is because of the incredible people that I have met along the way. And believe me, there's been some really uh, I've enjoyed every one of them. But some of them have been just absolutely beyond belief. And one of those gentlemen was about oh 15 years ago. Uh, came to me from London. He lives right outside of the city, and uh, he is—he's uh, Muslim. He's one of my very dear friends. His father uh, ran the Coca-Cola distributorship for Iraq, and uh, uh, all during that time. And then when the Shah came over, the Shah put him in prison, and he died. And they were given the choice of leaving the country, or uh, and keeping the Coca-Cola, or <laughs> Or, or leaving the Coca-Cola and getting out alive, and so he did. And he came to London where he made a couple of different fortunes in two different businesses, and then he started trading about 15 years ago. But he's very smart, and uh, he has some incredible ideas, and he listens to the show occasionally. I, I hope he's listening today because I'll put a smile on his face and smile on my face. But um, – He's he, the your question about these interest rates going negative, folks. He's, he, he, the way he explained it to me was so simple, I, I just I couldn't believe that I didn't see it right in front of me. You know, these people are buying treasury bonds, right? And who is selling treasury bonds? Well, the people that are selling treasury bonds are the governments. And what do the governments do? They print paper. So what are they doing now? They're giving them such a good deal that they're printing the paper and charging them extra for it. That's a good idea because how do they make their money? They don't make the money on the interest rate, folks. They make the money on the capital appreciation of the treasury bond. If you buy a treasury bond at 135 and it goes to 165, you made 25 percent, right? Well, that's exactly what they've been doing. Have they done this before? Yes, they have. Go back to 1999 and take a look at that. And then when it was over, they dropped 40 percent. This time it's going to be a lot worse than 40 percent because they got the whole world involved in this idea of negative interest rate. It's not about the negative interest rate. It's about the capital appreciation. They've turned all these people that are safe, that are safe haven folks into bond traders, and they're, they're net long the bonds. And I don't, you know, I don't know when it's going to end. Maybe it never will. But if it does, it's not going to be very pretty. It really isn't. That's my two cents worth. Whether that means anything or not, I don't know. The open interest in the notes and bonds was not positive yesterday. Only the two-year had a positive increase of interest rate, of um, in open interest. The uh, Treasury bonds were flat, if you can believe that, being up the limit. So anyway, uh, those are not good signs. And then the, the, uh, the 10-year note and the five-year note were both uh, – negative uh, interest rate open interest so whether that means much or not you know i'm not i'm not really uh, too much concerned you know about that i do have a couple of charts here from a Je um, john murphy that i think we ought to look at uh, because it helps to describe 
some what's what's going on and what has happened before. If you'll take a look at this chart, folks, if you'll look at the uh, back where that uh, previous inversion is, that was back in 1999 and 2000. That's when bonds were topping and they dropped 40 percent from that level. Uh, you can see the another inversion was right before the big crash in 07. Uh, and now we're we're down in this area here. But the interesting, there's a couple charts here that that really help describe some of the things that are going on. And this is all speculation, you know. That's a. Uh, and by the way, they, I understand now that Japan is a larger holder of our U.S. Treasury bonds than China is. I didn't think that could happen, but it certainly has. But take a look at this chart right here. This one goes back over the last 20 years, and you'll be able to see some of the things that, that we're looking at. Look at the divergence that we have, folks, between the S&P 500 and the record low yield. This means that these boys are in the Treasury bond market. They're long. Oh, my goodness, this sets out something really could be pretty nasty. But, you know, I'm just an old cowboy out here. I, ch I checked, talked with Walter, my borough, this morning, and he said, you probably shouldn't share this with anybody because most of them think you're, you're nuts, and the rest of them will be reconfirmed by this uh, dissertation. And I said, that might be true, but I thought I'd give it a wing just to see if it's going to happen because uh, I just look at charts, folks, and uh, when I hear people talk about, you know, negative interest rates, it doesn't make any sense until you realize that they're making money on the capital appreciation of the bonds. That's where they're making the money, not on the interest rates. Okay, whether that means anything or I don't know. The, the key to that was the gentleman told me that uh, the key to that was in uh, the book by – uh, uh, Bernard Baruch, my own story, and there's several things in there. Two things that he brought to my attention. One is the greatest scam in Wall Street is to inflate something to a high price and you get suckers to buy it all the way down. Point one. Point two, don't be concerned on the return on your money. Be concerned on the return of your money. And when you're selling paper, you don't have to return very much. End of story. Let's move on to the first chart that we want to look at here at the morning line here at the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we have a horse going in the first race today under the colors of platinum, the silver medal. If you'll take a look at this. We're setting here at the 835 level in the platinum. It has not hit there yet. It's been sitting there for a long time, but you don't have to risk very much if you want to buy platinum. I'm not doing this trade. I'm not buying this trade. I'm just showing you this trade. The reason why it's interesting is you have a beautiful ABCD set up perfectly right at a 61% retracement. It's in a bull market. You have higher bottoms. Those are the things that Gartley talked about on page 222 of his book, Profits in the Stock Market from 1937. So that's it. Um, keep a close eye on that. The another one we want to talk about that happened yesterday is I want to show you and then Hang Singh because it was it was really quite dramatic. Uh, I had sent out a, a, an alert on this that we were probably at a bottom day, and then they had their lunch break. And you can see what happened at the lunch break. They gapped it down. They gapped it down from 25,300 to 24,950. Uh, on the break, they dropped it uh, you know, 400 points on the break. And, of course, you can see what happened right after that. Uh, as soon as they get down there, what do they, it starts bottoming, and it's up again today. So that's a pretty significant bottom in the Hang Seng. And if we look at it uh, from the uh, ABCD standpoint that we usually do, we'll get up here and take a look at this. tells us that we're at a pretty significant bottom, and maybe these problems that they're having in Hong Kong will probably be uh, solvable, at least for a bit. We'll see. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the SPX uh, cash S&P so you could see the, uh-oh, uh oh dear, I see what I done. I didn't mean it that way. I wanted to know when she was done, uh, when she was going to go long. That's what I was interested in. Oh, Marshall, you dog, you. Hold on here one second here. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Just give me a second. These Staying up all night, folks, has its uh, drawbacks. Give me a second. I'm trying to show you the chart that we had here. Uh, no, I didn't sleep at all. So, well, I slept a couple hours. So I'm just having too much fun. Uh, folks, I have been doing something for the last couple of months that has just opened my eyes. And I've one of the things that brought this on was the fact that I missed most of that. I got $75 of the gold move. I missed so much of that gold move that it really bothered the heck out of me. And I tried to figure out what I did wrong. Fortunately, Mr. Jameson's being here has helped me immensely because he's very good at uh, putting out things from the computer that gives you an idea of what the probabilities are of certain things happening over another. And when you add some numbers out of the sacred sequence of geometry type stuff, mainly Fibonacci, you've come up with some really good probabilities. And when you add Bayesian statistics to that, whatever the hell that is, uh, it really opens your eyes to show you the probability is of something happening over something else is extremely high. And that's what I've been trying to do. And it's so exciting that I have, uh, and I don't get excited very often at my age. I still like young girls. I just don't remember why. Okay, let's move on here to take a look at a couple of things that I think are important. One of the reasons why the market was not going to collapse now is because of this VIX index. If you notice, even with the Dow, 
um, down 800 points. That VIX could not even take out those previous highs. It only got up to 24, and that that's a really strong indicator that it was not ready as of yet. It will be ready, but it's not ready now. So uh, just keep that in mind as we look at that. Hopefully we'll have Shane Smolian on at the break. He's got some stuff uh, when he was on yesterday. If you'll remember, he was talking to us about this, you know, the sell-off and the fact that the Fed was in there and it was just a matter of time before they uh, started the bottom. And if you look at that SPX, that three drive to a bottom pattern, took two days to form, 14th and 15th, and that's it. By the way, today is a national holiday and we want to take a 15-second um, moment of silence. This was the day that Mr. Elvis Aaron Presley passed away, and I remember it very vividly. I came back from uh, 1975. It was during my period of learning, and I got back, and I had turned the radio off because I always drove home over the Malibu Highway and then came over uh, Canaan Road to get to Westlake Village. I didn't have my radio on. By the time I got there, I usually arrived you know, about 3.30 in the afternoon coming from uh, uh, L.A., and uh, my little daughter was there, and uh, she, was, uh, she, was, she was six years old at the time, and she had a little bowl of popcorn for me, and she was crying so much. She said, oh, I have such terrible news. And then she told me that Elvis had passed away, and I, uh, when she said terrible news, I uh, <laughs> really did it, so we'll see. Yes, we do have the... Uh, uh, the full moon. No, 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 no. Oh, well, wait. No, no, no. The full moon was yesterday. Um, uh, yesterday at 829. The uh, the 15th was the full moon. That's what my calendar says. And Norman's never wrong. Now, you know, another one, we have to give Norman a good uh, pat on the back. Because those of you that uh, look at his stuff, he sent out two alerts. You know, he sent, he sent one out on Monday, and he sent one out on Tuesday saying this this should be it somewhere around Tuesday or Wednesday, and it was Wednesday or Thursday, one of those days. I mean, it was pretty much spot on. So I think it's a good idea. To, some of this stuff works. You know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know a lot about astrology, but I see it enough that uh, sometimes it works. I'm a pattern person, folks. I look at the patterns first, and if the other stuff lines up, that's what I'm looking at, and that gives me the risk parameter. And the more and more I've seen over the last two months, I'm more convinced than ever. The fact is, my, one of my joys of uh, being able to work with John was I was able to take one of my favorite students, someone who's quite famous, actually, who really uh, sort of bad mouths Fibonacci off, out of the corner of his mouth. And I was able to put that corner of his mouth from a smirk to a smile. And he realized the real value of it after I showed him what I was looking at. So um, it's really interesting to see how these things go. Hey, we've got uh, Mr. Z on the line. What's up, Bubba? Hey, Mr. Pesavento. Thanks for taking the call. Uh, I had no choice. There were so many people lined up on the line, John. I said, put him first. <laughs> You're a gentleman. What can hey, I do for you? question for you, please. If you would help yeah. me with that British pound daily chart. Uh, yes. Just full disclosure, I'm long the British pound from 120.80. This is the cash currency pair from last Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm merely guessing there's a double bottom near 120 forming. Uh, and, of yes. course, nothing's proven yet. Can you look at your daily chart, show us on Tiger TV, what level you think the British pound U.S. dollar pair needs to exceed to prove a bottom? That's my question for you. Sure. Let me get this chart up here. Uh, this is where we were looking at that level to come in around that 120.30. So far, we've rallied up to 121.780 uh, to this morning. That's taken three days to get there in a really nice ABCD fashion. I believe that we're getting ready. That's going to be a significant top here at 12180 that we hit today. If we close above 12285, then there's uh, they've got game. But until they get above 12285, it really hasn't done very much. You see, we we went we made a bottom at 12034, and it's taken five days. To make 150 pips, John, that that's not a sign of a lot of strength. You know what I mean? And and it did it. If you look at a half-hour chart, let's just do that for the folks here. If you did it with a half-hour chart, you'll see that it was uh, spot on. Hold on just a second here. I've got uh, I got a lot working in the markets today, so I want to be uh, 
be really careful here. Let me get this up here. There we go. And you'll be able to see this really clearly, hopefully. And here it comes. You'll be able to see we made that low back there at 2030, and it's taken five days to make a 150 pips, and it's a perfect ABCD right at the 78% level. So I'm looking for a pullback. The last pullback we had came down 80 pips, so 80 pips down from uh, 21 brings you to uh, 121, and it should have really strong support at 121. So, uh, so you're saying, do I hear you correctly, that – if I'm if uh, if the British pound is going to get to my 126 targets, uh, I've got to clear 122.85 first to uh, prove it. That's my opinion. Yes. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's all you needed. That's all I need, sir. No, no comment about the huge gap in cattle that we've had this week or last week. I share this with you, Larry, just for what it's worth. Yeah. That uh, the destruction, accidental or otherwise, of that western Kansas slaughterhouse, mm -hmm. uh, that is a highly significant event. Something like 5% of all cattle slaughtered in the United States were dressed in that particular facility. Wow. Um, and as a consequence, live cattle futures fell on oh it's okay stay with us john we'll do Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading in larry's first week alone he sent out 25 charts six videos and a full report to his subscribers in just one week if you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade then larry's service fibonacci 24 7 is something that you must try right now new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk sign up now to larry pesavento's fibonacci 24 7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Shane Smolian on the line. Shane, are you there? Oh, oh, not yet. Hopefully, we'll have him on the line, and we'll see if we can get him up. I know he's scheduled to be on. We've got his charts ready. We'll figure out what's going on here in a minute and uh, move on. Before we get to that point, I wanted to bring a couple of charts uh, to your attention. One was that British pound chart. Can you hear me, the other one Hey, there we go. You've got it, my friend. Sorry for the interruption, but technical things always happen. So uh, why don't you tell the folks what we're looking at? I want to thank you yesterday for your great uh, information. We bought them pretty much like you said we were going to. So what are, you, what are you looking at this morning, Shane? Well, before I get started, I just I would like to just give everybody a, a way to contact me because I, I there was some confusion about that before. So uh, first of all, just real quick here, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I have a free Twitter feed called Wolf Trader Info, and that's the green logo. The red logo is the paid version. So if you go to uh, Wolf Trader Info, that's free version. Wolf Trader One is the paid version. And if you want to contact me, you can contact me, Shane, at WolfTraderFutures.com. And I run a daily Twitter service, which I'll talk to, I can talk to you about on the, the Twitter feed. Okay, great. Um, and we have, and we covered the just real quick the markets that we cover. Uh, we cover metals, grains, energy, currencies, financials, and indices. And I give a daily signal, a swing signal, a weekly signal, a bias to the cycles, and then just some notes. So just that's a quick overview for everybody, just to give them a background here, um, if they're interested. Uh, so first of all, I'd like to start out here by talking about what I see as the 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 uh, the, the trend in the actual. Uh, fed juice here. So I think that we are on the cusp of a mega bull market coming up. I, I'm in agreement with uh, more of a, of a Stan Harley's type of line of thinking. I know that some people are, are bearish on this market. But you can see here on this chart that every time that the, the, the market has had a decline, that the, the Fed has come in here. This is the Fed up here. And every time the market's declined, it's only taken a few weeks for this to actually uh, respond to the Fed and hook right back up. Uh, this is back in this December decline, that famous December decline. Uh, but the interesting thing is that this also did line up with some very important uh, cycle lows in the end of December. That tends to be a cycle low now for the solar cycle. If you look at it in the last few months, last last few years, going back to 2009, um, and then we also had this other low here, this other one in June, uh, which again, the Fed came in and the market responded within just within a couple of weeks on this one. So the Fed has just started a little bit of a ramp up here, has, has not really even begun to, you know, put their, their heels in the ground yet. Uh, but just even that little bit of an influence is keeping this market from going lower. And I think we're going to be hooking up, and I think we're about to start what I would call a mega bull market. I think it's going to last for a few years, maybe a year and a half or so. I think we're just right about to see this big explosion up. Now, of course, I could be wrong. That's just my opinion, but that's what I believe uh, from what everything that I'm seeing. I think that they are going to come in with some type of a surprise rate cut, and I think that combined with all this Fed fuel, you know, this is the gasoline, and that's going to be the spark that starts this rally, in my opinion. So that's just that's what I what I see here on this. So I think overall that's a very uh, bullish picture from the perspective of the Fed, and you, we do have these inverted yields which people are concerned about. But I don't think it's a problem personally. I think that this is just really looking bullish here, in my opinion. Okay, that well, sounds great. The good. What do you? Um, the first question someone's asking is, where do you go to get information uh, on on how the Fed is putting juice in? You said you told this once before, but uh, I was curious. Uh, That's the question they're asking: is where do you go to get that information? You said it's well, I, a, go ahead. It's a, available publicly, right? Yeah, I get it from a, a, an aggregate of different sites. I, I got onto an email service a while ago and they send me all of these updates and I, I don't know if they still do that, but I, t I take a composite of many different indicators and uh, data readings throughout the day and throughout the week and throughout the month. 
uh, you know, so I, I, I look at many things. It's not just any one thing that I look at, but this, this information is public, but you really just kind of have to dig, dig for it. And, and the key is interpreting it, getting it, and then interpreting it to um, how does this correlate to the markets? So okay. yeah. that's, that's the basic gist of it. I mean, I've essentially to gain this advantage, I've been able to figure out how to correlate this to markets. Well, you've so done that's a good the, job that's, so that's far, secret, that's for sure. That's the secret in the sauce, I, I guess. So yeah. it's not that the information is not there. It's how do you how do you interpret it? Yeah. Hey, we, we have a question from one of our listeners on what do you charge for your paid Twitter service? And, paid Twitter service is uh, – the paid Twitter service is 225 a month. And okay. every day I post charts on all of those, you know, what, what I talked about before here mm -hmm. on the metals, on the copper, silver, gold – corn, natural gas, oil, euro, British pound, 10-year, and the okay. S&P. And I have a day trade signal, which I trade as a bundle. I have a weekly signal, which also is traded as a bundle. And then I have these swing trades. Now, the swing trades are actually a uh, combination of a signal and the astro, which I'll show you an example of that here. So this is a chart of gold. So I highlight the arrows in different colors. So for example, the lunar cycles, I'll highlight them in green. And you can see in here uh, on this lunar cycle that the market tends to tends to follow it pretty good. But I like to put it with the solar cycle because the solar cycle and the, the blue arrows here tell you the, the, the bias of the market, which I'm going to get into talking about today. The bias is really important because one of the things about Astro that people need to understand is it's not just as simple as buying and selling on the arrows. And, and it, because if it was, it would it would be very easy and we wouldn't have to do any analysis. The hard part is establishing something called the relative market bias. And that's where I come in as a service because the Astro signals are not an exact forecast, but they tell us how does the symbol tend to act based upon the history of the cycles and the current energy, which are the transits. So what does that mean? Well, at certain times of the year, oil tends to go up, it tends to go down, gold tends to go up, it tends to go down. but the question is, how do we take that information and figure out where is it going to go now? So uh, I, I like to look at this and establish what I call a relative market bias. So this is important because you have to look at the market. And so you, you ask yourself, is the market following the buy and the sell signals? So if you look at an example of this, I'll go to one that's a, that's a neutral. This is oil. If you look at these blue arrows into here, uh, oil is essentially following the solar cycle. You can see on the 30th, it made a sell. On the 7th, it made a buy. And on the 24th, it's going to make a sell. So that's essentially following what the solar cycle is doing. So because it's following it exactly, I say this is a neutral bias. In other words, it's pretty much following the plan. It's behaving. Uh, and so we can get these up moves, these down moves, but it's behaving. And that's good, but markets don't always behave. Uh, markets trend. You know, one of the weaknesses of astrologers, let's just say, I'll put myself in here, is we, you know, we tend to say, well, everything is based on astrology. One of the weaknesses of trend followers. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with Shane Smolian, Wolf Trader, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're talking with Shane Smolian. You want to continue, my friend? This is extremely interesting to me, and I know it is to our listeners, too, so continue sure. on. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Perfectly. Just like okay, you were next so door. I just I want to talk to everybody about something. Everybody has a bias. Everybody has something that's their, their go-to tool. Okay. So the problem with that is that everybody, you, you, we tend to have this confirmation bias. So if you're an astrologer, you're going to look at the market and you're going to say, everything can be explained, explained with astrology. And if you're a cycles person, you're going to say, everything can be explained with cycles. And you, if you're a time and price person, you're going to say, everything is explained in time and price. The market is never wrong. And if you're a Gartley person, you're going to say everything is explained by Fibonacci projections and pullbacks, and that's great. You may have your go-to method. Everybody does, and that's fine. But the one thing you have to understand is there's always things that we don't understand in forces influencing the market. And so the market will tell us this. It will tell us this. And so like back before the – and so what? one of the things I realized was I thought – when I hit Astro, I was like, this is it, man. This is, we, we hit it. This is it. And I saw uh, when, before the Fed got involved during some of these off periods, like in 2011, I mean, these markets were turning on the Astro to the dime. It was like, it was like I had found the Holy Grail, but then the Fed started up again and they stopped working. So we have to understand at every point in our life, we need to understand that, you know, it's noble to say to yourself, the market's never wrong. You know, I'm not going to make excuses and all of these things. But the reality is there is a Fed in there putting the juice into the market. There are other forces that we don't know about. I mean, we our understanding of the world, of the universe is so small. It's such a tiny slice. And so we do have some of these tools. But I'm going to give you an example here. This is gold. Okay. So this is an example of what I would call a positive relative market bias. So, for example, here's your buy and sell arrows in the blue. This is the 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 this should say solar cycle here this is the solar and so okay so here's the buy everything looks great right it's making a bottom we're looking for long-term trades but all of a sudden here you got a sell signal and the market's trending up so what does that mean that means that you have a positive relative market bias in other words does it mean the astro is wrong no 
that's the cycle. That's what it tends to do across every three years. But we have other forces at play here. The market has a positive bias. So when we have these positive biases, we're looking to go long when these things go into buy signals. And so we would be looking to be to be getting into these long trades, not the short trades, when we have a positive bias. And so that's the key here. So that's where I come in with the service because I'm, I'm establishing, okay, well, here's the cycle. Here's what tends to happen, but that doesn't mean that's going to be what happens. And so one of the mistakes people make with these is they say, well, you know, this stuff doesn't work. Look, on August 5th, it was a sell and it went up. Well, okay, but look what the market's doing. Look at the tape. What is the tape telling you? The tape's telling you that we have a strong market in gold. The same thing could be said for the bond market. Now, here's another example of a negative market bias, okay? You have corn here, right? So corn looks like, you know, more or less it's following into here. It's following right along here. You had on this solar cycle into here, you had this buy on, on August the 2nd, and you had this sell here on the 8th. And then you had a lunar cell here. So you can see the two of these work together like tag teams. They're not really related, but they kind of work together. And you have this sell-off. But look right here. You had a buy on the 12th, right? What happened? It fell. You had another buy on the 13th. What happened? It fell. So now we're in a negative bias. Negative. In other words, there are hidden forces that we don't understand, we don't know about. Maybe it's the tariffs. Maybe it's the planting. You know, well, the planting conditions are supposed to be bullish, but it could be anything. It could be now they're saying that there's you know, fundamentals that are that are at play. The point is that the tape is telling us that there is a negative market bias here. So corn, okay, we are looking more now to look establish short positions on the corn. And on, you know, on the solar cycle for the year out here on the 29th, third and the 29th, there's some major lows out here. So I'm I'm kind of I can take these charts and instead of just projecting like a solar cycle or lunar cycle, I can say, okay, well based on the tape, and based on the fact that this is negative, likely that this low into here is, you know, I can, instead of putting these arrows up here, I can put these arrows down here and I can say, <clears throat> I can, excuse me, I can say, well, the bias is negative. So probably we should be putting these arrows lower to, to look at some type of a low out into here. And so that's the idea of it. And that's the, the takeaway of all of this. And that's the tricky part because these biases can change. You can be neutral and all of a sudden the market's in a negative bias. But don't say that the cycles don't work because they're limited. Everything's limited. Every tool that we have has limited use. And so we have to understand that. And we should never, you know, if you if you just want to look at the market and say everything's controlled by astrology, at some point, this and this is the point I came to in 2011, you're going to have to realize you kind of live in the tale told by an idiot. In other words, you know, you may have your belief, 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 but there's other forces at play here, and you need to open your mind to look to acknowledge these forces. And maybe we don't know what they are. Like I said, like maybe we just see that these, like with the with the bonds, we can just see that hey, there's a big trend building here. But to understand, to blend that, to blend it together with the astrology, that's the key here. That's the key that that uh, that makes this more, that makes this an art form with with the actual forecasting using using the astro. So um, I'm going to go here. Great, great common sense, Shane. Great common sense. Sure. Yeah. And you, you have to really keep an open mind here. And, and again, mm -hmm. I know everybody likes to say, to take this noble position. Oh, market's never wrong. Time and price. Okay. It's true in terms of your stops and your limits. That's, that's true. You know, that's a hard thing. But, but the Fed is real. The Fed is coming in. The Fed is stimulating. So, you know, you can be noble all day, all you want. But in the, the end of the day, the reality is that there's a Fed in there, and there's and they're influencing the market. Okay, so th this – now let's change uh, gears here for a second. This is the outer rim transits that I was talking about. So this is uh, going into – this is 2019 going into 2020, and I had talked about this before on one of the presentations. But you can see here we came into a low, a major low into here. Uh, right around the end of June and July, so we're actually on a period here where we're we're on a, we're in a rise here. So, in terms of like an outer transit and outer astrology influence on the markets, it's really a bullish time right now. So this is going all the way into probably early November, and so you can see here this is falling very similar to last December when we had that low into to late December before. Now it doesn't mean it's going to follow this. But it does mean that this this is a real force, 
Okay, it's a real influence. It's out there. The market tends to model this, and it's in a bullish phase. So, you know, the again, it's it's layers and clues that you have to put together, and that's where it makes it difficult because you can't just look at a chart and say, or like the Bradley, and say, oh, it's going up, and you know, the market's going up. Not necessarily. I found that these transits tend to work better than the Bradley because, um, because these are much further out. These are much longer trends, and these are trends that a lot of people most people don't even look at. This is, like I said, these are the trans-Neptunian points, which is a, the, it's, the, it's the, this bedrock of Uranian astrology. And so these are points that were rectified, but they model the markets. And we've showed that before on the markets. So if we go back to, go back to, I had it here, oh, here it is. So this is the outer rim transits, and I show this. Stay with us. we got another three-minute segment, Shane. Shane Smolian, Wolf Trader. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Shane Smolian, Wolf Trader, on the line. You want to finish up, my friend? We've got about three minutes. Sure. So just to summarize here, I just wanted to show these outer rim transits. Uh, and I, I really like this chart because it shows the relations when you have a strong Fed and a weak Fed. But you can see here 
clearly that this is from 2010 out to 2016 that every time you get these rallies in the and the transits the markets tend to follow and when you have a weak fed uh when you look from a to b into here that's when you get the declines and it follows it models these transits almost perfectly now when you have a strong fed the down cycles are more or less lateral um so this is this is the chart that I just showed everybody uh, that we're coming into this bullish period in terms of the outer rim transits. It doesn't mean that the market's going to go up 100%, but I can go back through history and I can tell you the market more or less models these on a big term picture. So uh, that was that was basically it. I just wanted to give a, an overview of market bias today. And again, if you want to reach me, uh, you can reach me Shane at WolfTraderFutures.com. Uh, the Twitter service is 225 a month. Now, I don't offer a trial on that. Let me explain to your viewers why. Because I give away so much information each week that if you had a free trial, it would be as if you got a free month or a free five or six weeks. So it, it's just, it's very tough for me because I'm constantly blitzing information. So if I do that, it's not really fair to the people that pay up and subscribe. So that's one of the reasons why. And there's there's other reasons, but I just, I just don't do it. And it's not that I don't want to, show people what I'm doing. It's just, I feel like it's not fair. It's not right to the people who are paying just to give away, you know, four to six weeks information in a week uh, on that trial. So if you want to do it, it's just, you can just one month. It's not like it's a yearly commitment and it's 225 a month. Uh, you can email me with questions. I'll send you all the documentation if you want to understand what we do. Uh, and again, the Twitter, the free Twitter is at Wolf Trader Info and I do post information there about the service and then the paid version is at wolf trader one uh and that's just that's just how you reach me right now i'm working mainly just through twitter because it's because i'm also uh i'm also working on i have a fund that i manage so i, I it's tough for my to take, take focus my time on this so thank you my friend we'll have you on again soon if something special comes up please contact me we'll get you on thanks larry thanks so much thank you